In this three-part question, we're going to have a look at changes in wavelength, frequency, and speed. We're also going to have a look at using Snell's law of refraction and using the critical angle formula. So just to start with, in fre in sorry, in refraction, frequency is always unchanged. So we say it always stays the same. Now, filling in the rest of the table, this is take the appropriate boxes to show how wavelength, frequency, speed of light are changed when a ray of light travels from air to glass. So air has always has a refractive index of 1. That's what you have to sort of know according to the specification. Now glass is refractive index. We don't know exactly what that is, but we know it's definitely bigger than 1. So here we're going from a lower to a higher refractive index. If you think about it like this, you're going into a more dense material, which is glass. Then you're bound to slow down, so your speed will decrease. But we also mentioned that frequency is always unchanged during refraction. Now frequency we know is speed over wavelength. If you enter a denser material and your speed decreases, your wavelength has to also decrease so that the speed divided by wavelength is still gives you that same constant value of frequency, which is unchanged. So that's the first part of the question. Here, light is traveling from air to oil to glass, etc. It says the refractive index of oil is 1.47. Again, we assume the refractive index of air is just 1. The refractive index of water is 1.33. And it says calculate the angle of refraction. Well, refraction is taking place between air and oil. And we're going to use Snell's law here. So I'm just going to quickly write this out. And this specific equation is actually given to you in an exam. N1 is refractive index of where light is coming from, which is air in this case. Sin, sine of theta 1, which is the angle that it makes with the normal when it's coming in, which we call the angle of incidence, is equal to N2, which is the refractive index of where the light is going to which is oil, multiplied by sine theta 2, which is the refractive index of, oh, sorry, the angle of refraction that's made after refraction happens. That's what we're trying to find. To get theta alone, we start by dividing both sides by 1.47. So let's do that. So it becomes all of this over 1.47. And then to get theta alone from there, we do the inverse sine of both sides. So let's do that. I'm just combining everything here so I don't waste too much time writing everything out. So inverse sine of all of this gives you the angle theta, which I'm just going to quickly do on my calculator. Writing it like this in an exam is fine, by the way. You'll still get full marks. 1.47, and you get 36.1 degrees. So that's how you use Snell's law. Moving on, it's asking you to find the critical angle. There's a specific equation for this, which is sine of the critical angle is N2, which is the refractive... Actually, I'm going to go through that in a little while. So we're going from oil to water. N2 is the refractive index of where light is going towards. N1 is the refractive index of where light is coming from, which in this case is from oil to water. So in this case, sine of the critical angle is equal to N2, um, which is 1.33. Theta with a... So I'm just going to write this out. This subscript of C just means that it's a critical angle. And we're dividing by the refractive index of oil, which is 1.47. From there, you do the inverse sine of both sides. So the critical angle is the inverse sine of everything that's here. Let's just write that out again so you're not confused. And that will give you the critical angle. I think what I'll do next is make a video about total internal reflection. So we can have a look at why the critical angle is useful. And that gives 64.8 degrees. Hopefully that made sense. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Please like the video, comment if you have any questions. And um, yeah, subscribe. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.